If you've not yet migrated your files and document creation to the cloud, you're missing a great workflow option that will save you and your students time and headaches. Let me go through some options for how to efficiently share files with students electronically using Google Drive. Step one is to create some folders in your Google Drive. Use the Create button and choose Folder. Now put your folders to work for you. Most of what is in my English 7 folder is something I plan to have my students view or work on. So instead of adjusting sharing settings every time I upload, I will change the sharing permissions for everything in this folder. Use the triangle next to the folder's name and choose Share. My students change from year to year, so avoid having to update these sharing settings as students come and go. I'm not going to invite specific people to view this folder, but rather I'm going to use some more global access settings. Like everything in Google, your folders default to being just private, but click the change link and change the permission to anyone with the link. Choose save and then done. Now anything I put or upload into this folder will automatically be viewable by those who click on the links to the items. Now this document here is one that my students do not need to see, but they won't be able to really see it because again, you must have the link to get to the document and no one is going to find that accidentally. I will be posting the needed links to these documents in Schoology, but now I don't have to go through and manually adjust each item's sharing settings. If I wanted to, I could change this item back to a private file even though it lives in a shared folder, but the anyone with the link option keeps it accessible when I want it and hidden when I don't want to share it so I'm just going to leave it. Now let's see this in action. Here is a Microsoft Word file that I used for this text analysis activity that I now am going to use in conjunction with Schoology. I'm using Schoology here to get the work to my students paperlessly and to collect it paperlessly, but they will do the analysis together in groups in class. I could simply attach the Microsoft Word handout here but students who don't have Microsoft Word on their computer, like many of my Mac, iPad, and Chromebook users, are not going to be able to open this file. Granted, there are workarounds that these students can use to finally get the files open on their devices, but instead of wasting class time on this, if I put this document in Google, all of my students can access it regardless of the device. So, let me upload this document. I'll switch over to my Google Drive. I'll make sure I'm inside my English 7 folder before I upload. I know that I want to convert this Word document to a Google Doc, so let me check my upload settings by choosing this gear icon and then selecting upload settings. Make sure you have a check mark next to the confirm settings before each upload. Now I will choose the red upload button and navigate to where that Word document is currently living on my computer. After I've selected it, Google gives me a reminder that this is a shared folder that I'm uploading into, and so I need to confirm that it's okay to share this. Then I'm prompted to confirm those upload settings. I do want this converted to a Google Doc, so I'll make sure there's a check mark in that top box, and then choose Start Upload. I can see my Word doc appear in my English 7 folder, and I can see that it's shared. If I accidentally uploaded my document to the wrong folder, I can just drag and drop the file to the folder where it belongs. Now that my document lives online, I can easily just link it to that text analysis activity. I just need to get its link. I will click on the title of the document to view it. It looks like Google did a great job converting this from Microsoft Word, but occasionally I will have to make some slight adjustments to formatting, things like font and pictures. The document's link is at the top of the page, so let me copy that and then I will switch back over to Schoology. Instead of attaching the file, I can now link it and any device my students are using with internet capability will be able to access this file. I'll highlight the relevant text, use the chain link icon on the toolbar, and link up my document. What's great about the anyone with the link can view setting is that it allows anyone to view it but students will not be able to mess up my original. They will need to make their own copy to fill out and submit back to this assignment page. So I'm going to add a little message about that. Now let's see how this looks and works from a student's view. Here's the assignment. The student clicks on the link. Notice how she is not able to edit the original document. The student can make her own copy that will then live in her Google Docs. 
She'll be able to complete the work and then turn it back in through this Schoology assignment. To turn in her work, she will just go back into her Schoology course and use the Submit Assignment button to turn in her work. She can find her Google document in her Resources tab. She'll choose the Google Apps option, find the name of her completed Google document, and hit the Select button. Really nice workflow for the student and for the teacher. But unfortunately, I did notice a typo here that I want to fix before any of my other students make their own copy of this handout. So let me switch back to my teacher view. Previously with Microsoft Word, I would have had to delete the attachment with the typo, open Microsoft Word, fix the typo, save my document, and re-upload that attachment. With Google, it's so much easier. Now I just go to my Google Doc and fix the typo. My document's link has not changed, so I do not need to update my link in Schoology. My typo is fixed, and from now on, any student accessing that link in Schoology will find the corrected version. Setting documents, as anyone with a link in view, is the most common sharing setting that I use, but if I do want my students to be able to edit the documents I'm linking and not make their own separate copies, I can do that too. For example, here is a spreadsheet activity that I want my class to fill out collaboratively and simultaneously on this one copy, not separate individual copies. I want my students to be able to edit right here, so I just need a slightly different sharing setting. Let me click on the blue share button. If you have a limited number of students, you can share specifically with those students or put the names of the group in here. And that would be easier if I had, say, a class roster with each of these students' Google accounts. I could just copy and paste that. Or I can even create a Google group with those same people in it and share with the group, like I have done here for my EdTech colleagues. But I don't really want to have to keep track of specific people for this document. Schoology is going to limit who has access to it for me because only the members of my class are going to be able to get to the links I post. So again, I will use that change link up here to change this from a private document to anyone with the link. But instead of leaving the access at can view, I'm going to change this to can edit. I'll save my changes, and now when I link this item to an activity in Schoology, students will be able to enter their information right here. As you can see, I've assigned each student a country, and they are going to use the CIA fact book to look up communication information for these countries so that we can draw up some comparisons. Here's what the finished product looked like. Google even helped us quickly create a graph for a nice visual comparison. The Anyone with a Link Can Edit option is really helpful for collaborative activities like this one. I've used it for having parents sign up for conference lots and for collaborative Google presentations where each student or group of students adds in slides for a larger project. Google Docs and Drive is accessible on any device that can access the web. So when you create your items in Google or convert them from old Microsoft sources, you make it much easier for your students to access and complete their work and this frees you to go paperless in your classroom, or at least visit the copy machine far less often.